This video will show you how to force laptop to run with dedicated graphic card such as NVIDIA GeForce or AMD Radeon. However, there is a slightly change that this method might cause a problem, even though I never experienced a problem at all. But I just warn you to do it on your own risk. If you want a safer way to choose using dedicated graphic card, you can watch our other video. The link is in video description. Before we begin, thanks to Gozen Ongyan Silni, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, I know this method from his comment in my other video. You can subscribe his channel, link is in video description. Let's begin. First, I will open the NVIDIA GPU Activity Monitor. You don't have to do this, the function is only to show you which application that running on dedicated graphic card. Next, we open Device Manager. To do this, press the Windows button plus R button. It will open Run dialog box. Let me zoom it first. I'm sorry if this video quality is not so good because I can't use the screen recorder since we will change the graphic card setting. Then, we type devmgmt.msc. Press OK or Enter. It will open a device manager. Seek for display adapters. Double click it. Right click on the integrated graphic card. And then choose disable device. Choose yes. Done. We can see at NVIDIA GPU Activity Monitor, there is no application running on this GPU because we are not open any application. Now let's try to open Microsoft Word. As you can see here, it shows that WinWord is running on NVIDIA graphic card. Now let's try to re-enable the integrated graphic card. Right click on the Intel HD graphic, click enable device. As you can see, when we activate the integrated graphic card, the Microsoft Word is running in Intel HD graphic, not on NVIDIA GPU. Now let's try to disable the Intel HD again. The Microsoft Word application is running on NVIDIA GPU again. Just for note, for some computer, when you disable Intel GPU, then restart laptop, screen brightness is on lowest level. To fix this, go to Device Manager, enable Intel GPU, set brightness to the max, then you can disable Intel GPU again. Or we just need to enable the Intel GPU again after we're done using the dedicated GPU for whatever our purpose. That's it. Thanks for watching, consider subscribe our channel so you can easily find us again in case you need to watch this video again in the future. Thanks again and God bless you.